e ngā mana e ngā reo, e ngā kārangatanga o te motu, te nā koutou katoa, ko whatitiri te wake tōku e ngua. Nau mai, haere mai, and welcome on this journey as we head out and talk to Māori mana whenua artists from Tamaki Makaurau who are on a mission to decolonise spaces across Tamaki Makaurau. We'll talk to them, they'll uncover their stories, their histories and their narrative in a bid to increase Māori visibility here at Auckland's waterfront. It's really important for mana whenua to see Māori expression, cultural expression in the waterfront here because it's one way of restoring our knowledge and our narratives that are all in this landscape here and it can be quite hard to be seen, to be felt and heard when everything is getting quite urbanised and industrialised. So this gives um, a real opportunity to express our cultural narratives, our cultural values and our cultural aspirations. Everyone has their own point of view, everyone has their story to be told. When you look at an overlaying tapestry of, of knowledge, what you're seeing really is how we then present this knowledge to our future, to our tamariki, so they can grow and engender themselves really within their art, within their form that they are, who they are. It informs them. Such as when you talk about our Turanga Waiwai, the land that we stand on, this also allows those who aren't uh, iwi mana whenua to understand they still are part of this gift that we have, which is called Tamaki Makoto. Ostensibly what you're looking at is a process whereby we look for artists who have a, a feel about the artwork and a feel about the land and then they also can tie back to the land. What that means is we're supporting our artists into roles that they would otherwise not have. I mean it's better to have someone who is actually from here talking about here than someone who's from well down the coast and knows nothing about the area and can't interlink what we used to do. Yeah, the benefits of working with mana whenua and our nominated artists is that it creates an opportunity uh, for us to understand one another. And it really comes back to the relationship. It creates an opportunity for collaboration, for shared knowledge, shared understanding. I'd like to see uh, young Māori, young mana whenua engaged in these types of kaupapa. Because it's about, you know, ka te ruha, ka hao te rangatahi, as the old net withers, the new net goes fishing. And so how do we then create an opportunity for our rangatahi, our young people, for them to creatively express themselves and then how do we support them on a pathway um, whereas then they can become artists themselves. What I would love to see is us engendering the belief in themselves to come through and show us what they can do. We have so many young artists out there, particularly Yui Mana Whenua, who don't get that opportunity. How do we create then the opportunities for our young people, especially our own Mana Whenua, rangatahi artists, design aspects, aspects, whether that's in the urban and landscape design or the built environment? How do we uh, provide a pathway for them? I have a, uh, a whakatauki proverbial saying, which I, I suppose will guide um, the thinking around what the future holds for us, and it's around uh, which means we walk backwards into the future. And so, for our rangatahi, uh, our tamariki, um, I have an aspiration and a dream around growing the rangatahi of today to be the rangatira of tomorrow. It's, it's probably of utmost importance. It's actually tying us back into the land and how it reflects the situation of where we have come from. Where you're currently sitting, when Victoria Park is, that was, for us, was a place where we used to kill sharks and whales. So that was basically built on the ground of all of the bones that were there. So it's really a bone graveyard. So the history actually informs the future, and that's what it's about. How do we help Papa Tuanuku to survive and then prosper in the future? Because that's what makes us unique, not only as mana whenua, but as Māori to the world. You know, when people travel here and they come to our country, how do they understand and see and actually feel and hear things that are of the culture of this place. And it starts with what they see, and then that triggers an emotion to how you feel. And then hopefully, you know, we have our own rangatahi here on the waterfront area, uh, telling our stories, having opportunities for tourism, for cultural experiences, and that way, that, that would be my dream um, and aspiration for the future.
Tamaki Makoto, Tamaki Herenga Waka. You've heard from our artists, you've got a taste of what they have to offer. Now it's time for you to come down to the Auckland waterfront and experience it. Nore Rakea Kuranga Tira no Mai, Haere Mai.